How do you approach a team when they're number one in the state? You just got to try to look past it. We know it's, they're going to be good, but we still got to put up a good fight. Well, Morrison's been like a big team every year. I mean, they've gone to state playoffs and state championships a lot of times, but uh, they're definitely stacked this year. So we're definitely looking, we beat Kiwani, so we're definitely looking to like take it to game two. And I think we have the talent this year. I mean, uh, Morrison probably could come at us with a lot of stuff, a lot of blitzes or something, but I think we can handle it. So we're just looking to like shut them down, run the ball, to throw them. We know they're going to be, you know, one of the best teams in 2A every year. Uh, and like I said, this this group of kids that they've had coming for a long time uh, has only lost two games. They lost both of them last year, one uh, uh, to Stuley Newman and then in the playoffs to Stuley Newman. So we know they're, they're a tough ball club. Like I said, they lost two kids last year to, to graduation. The rest of them are all back. Defensively, our linebackers got to get a little more involved. We're working on that. Um, we got a couple new defensive linemen this year, so we're just working on slants and just reading the ball, read our keys, and then get to them as fast as we can. We gotta uh, stay strong defensively, and uh, we're going through a couple of new things on offense, and hopefully, we can get them down before uh, Friday. Obviously, we have to stay away from turnovers. We had two turnovers last week, and uh, actually, we gave the only score up. But you can't expect your defense to stay out there forever. We're gonna play good defense. Uh, you know, this uh, the quarterback an exceptional athlete, throws the ball really well, uh, and yet they have power up front. So uh, we're going to have to play well. That's a great challenge for us. You know, you upset the number one team in the state. That's that's something that, you know, people are going to stand up and take notice about. So we'll go after them first, and we'll go after Sterling Newman later. How much confidence did you guys kind of gain last week on defense against uh, Kiwani? You only gave up six points. Um, we gained quite a bit of confidence. I mean, they were pretty much an offensive team. Uh, they had a couple big guys, very good running back, and we kind of shut them down a lot, especially in the second quarter, which gave our offense a lot of time on the field to get the ball down the field. So basically that just helped us realize where we stand right now and what we need to work on and everything else. What would it mean for you guys to pull the upset here? It would be, it'd be a, a big thing for us. We'd be really excited, but uh, we're, we're expecting to play well. I mean, we put up a good fight, and hopefully we can come out on top. I would definitely say it gives us a lot of motivation. I mean... If we're playing the number one team in the state, um, we definitely want to show that we can compete with them or uh, get our name out there. And if we win, then it's like a complete upset and then everybody knows who we are.